Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we are focusing on a really teeny tiny micro topic of just learning what a keyframe is in Procreate Dreams. And if you are new to animation, basically a keyframe is your end point, a beginning and an end to a transition of some kind of a movement, or it doesn't have to be a movement, it could just be even a state change. So we'll get into that and go through this as efficiently as possible so you get the overview of working with keyframes. It's different from frame by frame animation and that's the cool thing about dreams is you can actually do both. What I am gonna do first in my blank project here, clicking on the draw tool, I'm going into what we know as flipbook mode where I could do uh, frame by frame animation, I'm not going to. I'm just going to create a little illustration here, something that I can tell top from bottom and it has a, we can watch it as I make an animation. We'll know what side is up and what side is down. Happy little star. I'm gonna click done. And what happens now is it's just a singular little object. And look, it's created its own little place on the timeline of this movie. So right now, this is a 10 second duration movie and I have one little tiny frame. So if, if I scrub through other parts of this timeline, it's only in one frame. I'm gonna click on this cell right here and bring up options, click and hold. There it is. I want it to fill duration. That means now the star is going to be present for the entire 10 seconds of my timeline. It's not going anywhere. At the moment, it's literally not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. It's just sitting there as a still object. As we set keyframes, we're going to change that. So I'm going to move down my timeline to about one second into the animation. Come over here. I have actually just tapped there and I've made another keyframe. Clicking on the keyframe, I can see any settings that I am assigning to it and haven't done anything yet. The star is still just sitting there, has two keyframes, but they don't do anything. I'll click off of that. I'll go up onto the stage. And what do I want to do? Actually, I want to make the star shrink. So I'm going to bring it down. And just for fun, we'll kind of click on this little curved arc here and we'll rotate it all the way around. Now, if I slide back to the beginning, I play my animation. I just made a one second animation in which the star shrinks and it spins. And that's all, it's just two keyframes making that happen. So that is your basic idea of what a keyframe will do. Other things that we can do with these keyframes as we get a little more advanced with dreams is you will notice I can go into here and I can, instead of just moving, scaling and rotating, I can also apply filters. And the filters are very cool because maybe I want the opacity of this star to change and it just fades out. So it goes to like 0% opacity. I could set that here. And if that happens, now let's watch what happens. It really fades away, right? If I start maybe back here and edit the keyframe to be another filter. We could do an HSB, that's hue, saturation, and brightness. I can change the color. So it's gonna go from pink to, I don't know, maybe I'll do it again down here, keyframe to green. And now I have an animation that's doing all kinds of things, changing colors, spinning, shrinking, dissolving. <laughs> and so you have a lot of controls just with these keyframes. They do get a little bit, um, they take a little bit of time to not feel too clumsy with. So don't get frustrated by it. You can always, if you, if you accidentally set a keyframe and you want to remove it, just click on it, say delete. You can get rid of it. And Try some things, just start with one simple little object that you create in your little um, flip book. Now, if you notice, we go back into the flip book mode, we actually do see all these things happening 
like an animation. And it's showing in the flipbook, but we didn't have to draw that. The in-betweening that you would manually draw in flipbook mode is taken care of by keyframes, and that's why they are very powerful. So have some fun, try this out. Hope this helped. Be sure to like and subscribe to Rock and Chalk for more insights.